Oh, I should have gone up to the hammock first, but I forgot to, so let's just assume that we did. Well, actually, let's assume we went over to Mama Joe's and got some dinner. Maybe actually, no. You know what we did? We went up to the bowling alley because they did have BLT night. I mean, <laughs> what else are they going to do with all those tomatoes, right? And we had ourselves a nice juicy BLT with our own tomatoes. Maybe in the future we'll raise some hogs and we can supply them with the bacon too. Uh, and then we came back and we had a good night's rest. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is October 1st. It looks like it is going to rain this afternoon or later on today. So we need to take that into account if we're going to harvest. But I guess the first thing I want to do is go over here and see um, how our field's doing. It should have at least germinated, which it has. Okay, so maybe... Uh oh we got a little spot there we missed. Maybe tomorrow on October 2nd, this grass will actually be ready for us to harvest. I hope that is the case. Um, So that means we are back to contracts. Ooh, look at the bailing. Okay, we're going to get some money, you guys. <laughs> okay, we need to find the big one, 71. Okay, so you are not giving us the the big boy mower and but it is silage bale so that's good that means we're gonna have to do the extra step of windrowing which is gonna kind of suck we would save ourselves two grand if we just used our own equipment but I don't have a windrower How much does a big windrower cost? Tedders and windrowers. Okay, so the biggest windrower is 62,000. And that's the, yeah, that's that guy. There's this crone for 41,000. And what's the least cost? Yeah, I mean, the least cost on this is more than the entire cost for borrowing their equipment. That's an interesting look. That's a windrower? Yeah, I guess it is. Huh. Interesting. Least cost on this is... Are you kidding me? Okay, that's some fancy space age crap there, man. <laughs> uh, this Samoz isn't too bad. I've actually used this one before. Least cost on that is $9.94. So if we used our own equipment and we leased this one... What is the spread on this? It's 8.4 meters versus 14.7 or 9.7, 8.4. We would save ourselves a thousand bucks, but we would be using our own equipment. We'd have to pay for fuel. We'd have wear and tear. Yeah, I just think it's still worth it to use their stuff. I really do. It just seems like that makes the most sense. And then we can use all of their stuff. We're, we're looking at square bales here, too, and then a square wrapper, which I haven't actually used the square wrapper yet, so that might be interesting to, to mess with. So, yeah, let's borrow um, that equipment for that baling, and then that's silage, that's silage, that's hay, and that's hay. Okay, so we want to use the biggest tether and windrower equipment for all the hay stuff and he's got that same windrower we were just looking at and he's look he's probably got a fairly decent sized tether to go with that so let's borrow his equipment and you know mama joe has instructed us that whenever we borrow people's equipment moving forward especially if we're using them on other fields we have to refuel them and and uh and wash them so we will do that that is the plan all right, and then I think every other baling contract we just accept. Okay, now we got a couple cultivating. We got a nice big juicy cultivating one here, which I'll probably put a worker on. Oh shoot! I should, darn it! I should have um, borrowed their stuff. Darn it! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just accept those, and maybe another big cultivating one will come up. Let's hope so. Otherwise, we're gonna have to lease equipment to do those, or I'll just cancel them. Uh, okay, this is a fert. Yeah, definitely want to take the fertilizing. We've got a nice harvesting one here. This is for sugar beets. Okay. So he's given us two trailers, a couple of tractors, 
We got the topper. Yeah, let's let's do this. Why not? Uh, it's on field 22. That is not too terribly large. Yeah, we can do that. I like it. All right, so we'll do some sugar beets. Accept that contract. And then these are just a couple. That's a little soybean. Okay, this is a large, another big sugar beet. Oh, wow, with even more equipment. And guess what? I forgot to borrow that guy's equipment, but it's probably a good thing because now we can borrow this equipment, which is even larger. Borrow items. Yeah, we got to pay attention to that. Okay, we got a pretty decent size plowing. That one I'm going to take and probably put a worker on. Um, it'll probably, I'll probably have to pay the worker somewhere around a thousand bucks to do this, but we still, you know, earn four thousand dollars for it. So why not, right? Um, let's. I haven't done any plow. Yeah, so let's definitely borrow those items. No space for contra. Oh, okay. We got all that other stuff. And then we got some stupid weeding ones. Field 70. Isn't field 70 ginormous? Uh, where's field 70 at? Yeah, it's huge. Oh, my word. We could probably, well, we could put a worker on that one too, but we're only talking about, see, the thing about these weeding ones, I pointed this out in the last episode, is that we're only getting 36.33, and she's charging two thirds of that to borrow her equipment. It just seems way out of balance. Um, yeah, and there's no room for that. Okay, so we're gonna have to move a couple things out of the way before we accept this contract. Now let's um see what else comes up here. Okay, that's a cultivating, but it doesn't have very big equipment. So let's just accept it. Another fertilizing. And we can't do the plowing because there's no room until I go move stuff. But we can accept that plowing contract. Okay. So, okay, here's a pretty good size cultivating one here. So we want to borrow those items. Oh, we don't have room. Okay. So let's accept the smaller ones. And, yes, I am definitely going to be utilizing workers for this. I'm not doing all this work myself. <laughs> We'll take the smaller plowing. Okay, so we need to, oh, there's another baling too. Yeah, let's take that. All right, so we need to move some stuff out of the way so we can accept these two. They're using the same New Holland tractor there too. Uh, so we can get that equipment in the yard and then just keep spamming new contracts until it runs out. All right, well, that's going to be a lot of work, you guys, but it's also going to bring in some nice money. So we're going to spend October 1st working on contracts. And then October 2nd, if this grass is ready to harvest, we'll harvest our own grass on October 2nd. And then October 3rd, we'll do our produce. And, uh, yeah, so that could, should keep us pretty busy for October. And hopefully, you know, bring us in some nice cash flow. That is the plan, Stan. That's the plan. We have a plan, and we're going to stick to it. Yes, indeed. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I have been moving equipment around to uh, the proper location that they need to be in. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hook up this tractor to this guy and to this one. And this this mowing setup might actually windrow now that I think about it. So let's just see if that's what it does. If it does, then I'm, I'm going to go around for the first uh, go around. And then I'm going to have the worker do the rest. Because if I assign the worker now, he's just going to do the field and he's not going to get the little extra along the side. Uh, okay, so let's see. We need to flip over to you and unfold let's get you over to about here ish okay and then back to you we want to make sure that you are in let's see this field is a silage yeah so we want to make sure that you're in windrow mode or swath dropping mode perfect okay and that should there we go yeah it drops those flaps nice 
Lower down. Start up. Okay, so this is almost as good as using the crone, the swather. It's about the same, I think it's about the same width, maybe just a little bit narrower, but close enough. So let's do uh, one trip around the field, and then I'm going to hop off of here and let the worker uh, keep going on this while we start getting the other things set up. We have so many contracts to do today that I'm really going to try and utilize the workers as much as I can. And yeah, at the end, of the end of the day, that's less money for us, but it is what it is. And you know, the other thing too, if this was real life, we wouldn't be doing this in the rain, but I don't know that that's really going to matter because it's a contract. Hmm. Actually, I don't know. Maybe it does. I wonder if that's going to affect our yield. Maybe we should... The more I think about that, maybe we should wait on the, on the rain. Because if that does affect the yield from the contract, then... Um, oh, there we go. That's going to mean less bales for us, right, at the end of the day? Uh, let's see. When is the weather going to clear? So it's going to clear up uh, at 11 o'clock. It'll stop raining at 11 o'clock. Okay. So let's see. What time is this? 8.45 now. All right. Well, I'm going to – let's just shut this tractor off. What I'm going to do is – get a couple more things kind of staged and ready to go and then I'm probably going to just fast forward the time until 11 o'clock when the rain stops because you know the more I think about this you know if you harvest your own crop in the rain it's supposed to reduce your harvest right and there's no reason to think that that doesn't also happen with the contracts the more that I think about it now if that is not the case and you guys happen to know that you know definitely let me know for future reference so, because contracts are handled a little bit differently in this game than my stuff is. Uh, like, for example, when I sell silage bales from doing a contract, I get a lot better price from them. And I don't even understand why that is. I've never been able to figure that out. But it's the way that it seems to work. Uh, so we want to maximize our profit, of course. I really, really love this tractor. Look at how fast this thing's going, man. 45 miles an hour. That's like race car speed for a tractor. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd, I'd very much like to own this thing someday. But we're gonna definitely make use of it uh, for now while we ha have access to it. It's just a nice machine, man. Okay, so let's see, what else we gotta do? We gotta get, uh, we gotta get the windrower Wait a minute, though. We don't need a windrower on field 71 because we're doing silage, right? So let's just double check. Yeah, silage. Okay, so we don't need a windrower, but we we are going to need it on the next largest field, which I think is 18 because this is a hay field. And we have to TED, so we're going to have to windrow too. Yeah, this field up here. And I've already taken some other equipment up there, so let's... Let's transport the big windrower up there. I probably, if I had to do this all over again, I probably would have done things a little bit differently. But I've already started the contracts and the game's already been saved a couple times since I did, so we just have to make the best of it. I'm gonna leave the sugar beet equipment there for now. We should also get this um, weight out of the way and I'm, I might not even use it. And we're not using this front mower. This came with the hay contract as opposed to the silage. And I think this little vulture tractor did too, which we probably won't use, at least not early on. We might use it later with a worker. We'll see. It's nice to have multiple tractors though, because then you can assign workers to them. Now all of this stuff over here is just kind of extra stuff that came that I'm not actually going to use. So I'm just moving it out of the way so we can spawn in the other stuff that needs to come in for those uh, two big plowing and cultivating contracts, which we should have enough room once I get this weight out of the way. 
Okay, that's a problem. Can we tip it back up with this? <laughs> hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to park the little Valtra over here with all this other stuff. But like I said, we might utilize it later on. We'll just have to see how I can manage all the workers here that we're going to use. And, you know, we're going to, we'll probably end up paying four or $5,000 to all the workers at the end of the day. But they're going to save me literally hours of real time so that's definitely worth it to me. Okay, so let's just turn you off and park you right there. We're going to take the windrower up to field 17. Um, but we should have enough room now to get those other contracts and their big equipment in the yard here. So... If we go to here and then we go to here, uh, we wanted to take this, yeah, we wanted this big cultivator here and we're going to borrow the items and I, before we accept this plowing, we've got a bunch of smaller plowings. I probably won't do any plowing at all myself. I'm going to have the workers do all that because it's just... Boring as all get out, especially when it's a big field and a small plow. That's kind of a medium-sized plow, but here, let's see what else happens. Okay, so we got another plowing, or no, we got more cultivating. Is that cultivator larger than the big blue one we just did? Uh, hmm. If we go into here, okay, those are mod cultivators, so those aren't going to come with the contracts. Well, I know, at least I don't think they will. Okay, so. I think what we have right now is maybe this all-rounder flat line, which is a six-meter cultivator. The one this next one's offering, I think, is the 12-meter. This is the K12. It's pretty big. I mean, look at the size of that tractor. My goodness. Okay, I'm trying to look at it to see if I can tell what it is that way. Let's go back to cultivators again. Pretty sure it's this Rosselmosh here. Okay, so that's a 12.2 meter cultivator. And I think the other one that we have is probably this one, which is only a 6 meter. All right. Yeah, we should have borrowed that other guy's equipment, but I didn't know that one was going to come up. <clears throat> so. Oh, boy. Okay, so let me think about this for a second. If we. I mean, we're still going to get $10,000 off of this. Yeah, you know what? We're going to borrow it. We just are. Okay, and these will just take straight up. Uh, this plow. Okay, so we still haven't gotten a bigger plowing, so let's just keep spamming this for a little bit longer. Okay, there's a smaller plow, so we'll take that. And a small cultivate, we'll take that. Uh, another baling, so we'll take that. And another cultivating with that same 
cultivator that we already have. So we'll just accept that straight up. Weeding, small cultivating. Small cultivating, except a plowing. That's still the one we're holding out on. Uh, did we? Yeah, we took the big cultivator, right? Okay, so there's no point in sitting on this one. Let's just take it. All right, I think we've reached the end of the contracts for October. So we're going to borrow this plow and just make the workers do all the plowing. <laughs> okay, we're not doing any of this weeding at all. Oh, actually, you know what, though? Okay, so here's something. That's the same exact weeder. She would charge us fourteen oh six. She would charge us twenty five eighty six. And again, I can put a worker on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna borrow her stuff and just accept this one, and we'll have a couple weeding contracts too. Because why not? I think that makes sense. <clears throat> All right, you guys, we have a ton of money sitting here for us. I mean, just in the contract payments alone, there is a lot of bank there. But, you know, we're going to get extra money from all of this bailing. We should get extra money from the sugar beet harvesting, the two sugar beets there. And, yeah, it's going to take me a very long time to do this. There's no doubt about it. But like I said, I'm going to completely utilize workers as best as I can. Um, and we have a whole bunch of extra tractors now at our disposal. So this is great, man. This is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely. Okay, so here, let's do this. Let's hop in this tractor. What a beast. Listen to that thing purr. So we're going to get this out on the largest cultivating field and get a worker going on this, and we might actually grab the new Holland and the smaller cultivator and get that one going on a smaller field. Um, let's see, we have 11760, so it's going to be interesting to see how much money we come home with at the end of the day. Uh, all right, so let's look at our cultivating contracts again. And we want to look for the one that has the highest price because that's going to be the largest field. So this is 59 this is 66. This is 12. Oh, that's going to be a large field. All right, so that's the one we want to get this guy started on. So this is field 68, and that's going to be... Oh, where is field 60? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's one of the biggest fields in the entire game. It's enormous. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that worker has a great time <laughs> working this contract because we sure as heck ain't going to do it. Uh, okay, so let's move this rig to 68. Um, actually, no, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, just hold your horses. You know what, though? Actually, that car might cause us our worker a problem. I'm going to have the worker drive this out there so we can get the other one going, too. Look at this tractor, man. This thing is just a monster. Got an articulating axle and everything. Very cool. Okay, so let's go into the worker menu. Let's go here. Let's go. Uh, oh, we got to select the big Russell Mosh. Mash. Russell Mash. Russell Mosh. Yeah, this guy here. Create job. Go to. And I just want you to stage yourself right about here and facing that direction. Okay, so let's let him take that out there. Now, let's get this one going, too. We might as well. Let's just utilize all the equipment that we have at our disposal. The whole town's come out with their stuff for us. Um, probably going to want to put this weight on here. Uh, what is this for again? That's, what is this? Einbach. 
I completely forgot what this one was for. That's not a cultivator. Um, Einbach. P-Box Sny, Speedtronic inside. What is that for? I completely forgot what that was for. Uh, okay, let's, let me see if I can figure that one out. Einbach, huh? That's not a cultivator, is it? I don't see any, like, blades on it. Not going to be under the modded stuff. Einbach. What would that be? Um, I'm like, I have no idea what this is, you guys. Is that a tether? Where did that come from? Power heroes, uh, planters, slurry tanks, balers, bale wrappers, tetters. No, these are the only four tetters in the whole game. And none of those say Einbach. I don't think it's a windrower, is it? See, I had a, I had a deal where... The uh, I, I thought I had done it myself, but I had a deal where I accidentally leased some, something I didn't mean to. So if it's not a plow or a cultivator or a hay device, I don't know what this is. I really don't. I honestly am confused. It's a Pneumatic Star Pro. All right, well, here, let's um, let's get this next cultivation job going. I don't, I don't know that if cultivating in the rain's a big deal. Probably not. I mean, if it was like absolutely pouring cats and dogs, it might, but. Okay, so let's send you off to our next largest cultivating field, which is going to be, right, so that one was 12, uh, I think it's probably going to be the 6th one, yeah, okay, so what's that, that's field 39, and that's going to be over here, okay, so that's not too terribly far away. So in this menu, Grab the New Holland, uh, create job, go to 39, and go ahead and just kind of position yourself right there, start the job. Um, what just happened? AI worker has stopped unexpectedly. Target is unreachable. Why is the target unreachable? I don't know. Maybe there's something in the way. All right, let's try this again. It still shows... Wait, create job? Let's see, what are you... You're going to 39. Okay, let's put them a little further forward here. Just to get them there. That's good, good enough for now. There you go. Okay. I'll go over there and, and get them lined up before you actually start them on the work. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what the heck this thing is, you guys. We've got some more tractors here. Um, let's get our plowing going. That's a little fent, but it's got dualies. This looks like a medium-sized New Holland, so this is probably the one that came with the plow, I'm guessing. So yeah, plowing and cultivating in the rain shouldn't be a problem, I wouldn't think. Not in the game anyways. Maybe it is in real life, I don't know. Okay, so let's take a look at our largest plowing contract. Uh, 
Okay, so these are the plowings. We got a 5,000. That's the biggest field there. Okay, so that is field 11. That's going to be way up here. Very good. Okay, so that's where we're going. So let's go back to here. Click on the other New Holland. Create job. Go to. Just state you right about there. Send you on your way. Oh, actually, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. We want to, I think we want to put this weight on the front here. There we go. Okay, so we need to redo this now. Uh, let's see. Select the new Holland. Great job. Go to right there. Uh, whatever. Just get over there. I'll I'll get you lined up once you're there. Okay, so that worker's go going. Um, I'm gonna do the sugar beets myself at some point. So I think I'm just here. Let's jump in this <laughs> dually tires on this little tracker. That's so funny. I'm going to go just unfold this for a second and see if I can try and determine what exactly it is. Because I'm just not recognizing it. Oh yeah, so this is like a direct drill, isn't it? Because look, when I hook up to it, it's got like the grass seed. I did not take a contract that needs this, nor did I deliberately lease it. That's the second time the game has leased something that I didn't mean to lease. And that also explains why I didn't recognize it either. Okay, so that is really weird. Um, let's go into here now that we know what this is. It's this. No, it's not in here. Is it instead a planter? Is there a category for direct drills? Weeders. Oh, that's what this is. This is the weeder. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like completely confused. This is the weeder. Gotcha. Okay, so we did get that. All right. Now I know what the heck's going on. Um. All right, what kind of horsepower does this sucker require? I totally had a mind fart there for a while. I think it's this big boy here, isn't it? So that requires 170 horsepower. What is this tractor here? This is a Fent 716 Vario. Uh, Fent. Do, 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 do. Okay, Fent 7. Okay, so it's going to be this category. It's a 716, so this tractor has 171 horsepower, plus it's got dually wheels, so it's just enough. Just enough to do it. Right, okay. Cool. I Yeah, I completely forgot I took those weeding contracts. All right, let's fold this back up. Uh, no, fold it back up. I guess you can... So you must be able to seed with this at the same time that you weed with it, because it's got, like, a little seed thing in the lower right-hand corner and a little holder for seed, too. Interesting. Let's go back to our contracts. Let's go here.
and let's go to a, our bigger weeding contract, which is this one. And that's on field 70, which is enormous. Boy, I hope this worker has a great time because I'm not going to do it. Uh, okay, so we'll send the worker out to field 70. All right, so let's go here. Uh, looks like we have the 716 selected already, so create job. And we'll send you down here. Here and get you lined up there. Start job. All right, go for it, man. We're hiring the whole damn town. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Okay, let's run this up to field 17, and then we're going to uh, stop off at all the workers' locations and get them actually started working. So right now they're just transporting. Uh, let's see. We need to take, yeah, we need to take this up this direction. Oh, man, so much stuff to manage. It's crazy. But we are going to make some bank, you guys. We are going to make some serious bank. With all the workers that I'm hiring, we might actually end up paying them more like around 10 grand, but we're still going to I'll bet you we easily clear 100 grand with all these jobs. Okay, so yeah, we'll we'll take this up to 17 drop it off and then we just need to make the rounds to the other workers. I know I could teleport to them, but like I've said multiple times in this series, I'm trying to be somewhat realistic with it, so I don't really do the teleporting thing too much. Oh, I got a car coming. JCB is a great tracker to do this with, too, because... Oh, didn't see that car. Because <laughs> it's so fast. It, I don't know, is this even the fastest large tractor in the game? It is a large tractor, so... I wanted to, to buy it on the multiplayer server when I first started, but it doesn't have a front loader attachment, so that's kind of a bad the bad thing for it. Okay, so all of this stuff up here is for, for Hain. So we got a tether, a windrower, and a normal baler. Um, and you know, we could even get a worker going on this too, but I don't know. It's, it, I feel like I've got too much to manage as it is. So let's take a look at the map again. and. Uh, we've got someone heading up to 11, or we should have a worker heading up to 11. Where is said worker that's supposed to be heading up to 11? Uh, oh, here, let's look on this map. There we go. Okay, so that worker's already there. So let's just scooch across this way and go meet up with them and get them started. Man, this tractor is just, I love it. It's so cool. It's potentially one of my favorite tractors in the game. And 45 miles an hour, baby. All right, there's our employee. Well, actually, the employee is not here, but the tractor is here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I uh, hope this round field doesn't mess up the worker too much. Let's just get them started on the straight. And if they have problems with the round, then I can come back later and, and clean up after them, I suppose. This plow should not be set to create fields. It's not. Okay, let's send them on their way. Have at it, girl. Okay, we got that one going. Yeah, worker F is blocked by an object. There's a there's actually a mod. It's called Worker Manager or something like that, I think. That helps you manage these workers. You can even give them names and stuff. That's something I might look into at some point. Cause here's the thing, you know, in a single player game, 
as the farm grows, we're going to need help. We're just There's just no two ways about it. I mean, you know, right now we have a very small farm with just three-ish small fields. And even that's, you know, especially with our produce that we got to do and all the contracts that we currently do. It's a full-time job, man. I'm a busy dude. <laughs> so, yeah, we definitely need help. Um, but it would be cool to have a worker that you could name and, you know, use all of the time with the manager. What else would be cool is if there was some mechanism in the game where the worker over time would get gain experience and become more efficient and stuff like that. I, I don't think the game works that way, but it'd be neat, though. All right. Anyway, let's get back to this. So if we go back to our worker menu here. Uh, so we got this worker head working on the plowing. That's us right there. We have a worker staged here, one staged there, one staged there, one stays there. So let's go do the one on field 39 next since they're the next closest worker. And it's, it's more work managing the workers than it is just doing all this myself. <laughs> but it's going to get done a lot quicker as a thing. And it's fun, too. Can I? Well, um, we might. I don't know. Can we remotely get them started? The problem with that, from what I've heard, though, is that if you just, if, if you don't line things up for them, they kind of derp out. Um, I guess we could try this, though. Can we tell you to do field work? Yeah, let's just tell this guy to do field work and see what happens. Um, we're going to go check on him, or her, as the case may be. Okay, where are we at? We are... Yeah, see, uh, what's he doing? Why is he going that way? I don't know. Let's go look. Let's just go look and see if we can figure out what he's doing. Maybe he thinks he feels like he needs to start up in this corner. Yeah, he's kind of derping out a little bit, I think. Why is he doing that? Okay, let's just watch him and see what he does for a second. Please tell me you're not going to plow those sugar beets. Uh, what in the heck are you doing, man? Yeah, he's he, <laughs> he's got the brain worms. Okay. I mean, if we left him to his own devices, I wonder if he would eventually get the field done. He's just, you know, the thing is, is he I had him, I had him staged at an angle, and that's how he started. I'll hmm. I'll bet you he'd still get it done. He's just gonna do everything at an angle, which is not the most efficient way to do it. I'll tell you what, for science, let's just leave him to his own devices and see what happens. Maybe he'll get the job done or maybe he'll royally screw everything up. I have no idea. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to get the other one started off on the right foot, though. <laughs> so, um, all right, so where are we going next? We're currently at 39. So we've got uh, somebody waiting at 68, 70, and 71. Okay, if we started the 68 one, would they go this way or would they straighten out? Let's find out. Great job, field work, go. Let's see what he does. Will he straighten out or will he stay at that angle? Or will he not do a doggone thing at all? Why isn't he moving? Uh, okay, hold on a second. Create job. No, here. Create job. Field work. Start. Yeah, something's wrong with him. He's not, he's not working. Okay, so let's just go over there. Oh, no field found. Okay, we probably don't have him, uh, far enough on the field to figure out what he's supposed to be doing. That's got to be what's going on there. Okay, so let's go over 
and get him fixed. Yeah, I don't know if that other guy's gonna get that job. Oh, why why did that just happen? I don't see any put any bump there. Okay, that was interesting. So I guess you have to have them on the actual field before they they know what the deal is. I'll bet you that's what the deal is here. Okay. So let's hop out. Look at that cultivator, man. That thing's a monster, as is the tractor. Okay, so let's back this up. These articulating axle tractors are a little bit weird to control. All right, let's just start there. Looks like we're in a pretty reasonable spot. And then I've got a button that just automatically starts the worker. All right, have at it, man. There he goes, okay, that one's done. Let's go get the other one started. Okay, yeah, we got one right over here. This is the weeding. Whoops, <laughs> I didn't need that sign anyway. So how, how, <clears throat> excuse me, how does this machine take out weeds without taking out the normal crop? Is it because the normal crop is bladed grass and the weeds are broadleaf maybe? I don't quite follow what's going on there. Very fascinating, though. Okay, let's get this unfolded. Let's try that again. Cut it a little too sharp. That should be good. Okay. Let's turn it on. Lower it down. Yeah, my guess is that it works because it's hitting broadleaf weeds but leaving grass alone. Huh. Okay. Well, let's get the worker going. Let's get the worker going. Wait a minute. Why does it say no field found? We're on the field. Oh, are we on the wrong field? We're on 70. 70 is weeding. Hmm. That's weird. Maybe workers can't do weeding. What if we... 
move onto the field a little more. Does that help at all? Nope. Oh, crap. All right, we might have to do this one ourselves. What if we try it this way? Select you, create job, field work, start. Nope. All right, so for some reason, the AI does not recognize this field. So we're gonna have to do this job ourselves. Oh, okay, well, that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. Let's get the other one going first though. I think we have at least one more, maybe two more to go. And this is something we can do in the rain too, obviously. Well, I would think so. I don't see why we couldn't. Um, okay, so we'll go here. We got this worker waiting up here. Uh, that's our that's our our favorite hayfield 71 that we're gonna own someday all oh, right because I forgot I stopped this one because of the rain yeah I don't think we want to do the hay in the rain because we might it might mess up our harvest so I guess we've got everybody going now that can be going which is three. This one's borked. This one is working. This one is going di <laughs> diagonal. Uh, this one seems to be okay, too. And I guess that's all we got started on working, right? Okay. Well, all right. I guess the what needs to happen then is... We're going to do the sugar beet stuff later. I have another tractor at our disposal, but I don't have uh, another implement that I can currently use because that extra equipment that I have stored over here is haying equipment. We don't want to hay in the rain. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I guess the then what that means, guys, is I'm going to start working on this weeding. And get that knocked out and then it's supposed to stop raining around 11 a.m. I think it was and when that happens we will uh, hopefully be done with this weeding task and then we'll we'll see what the next thing is so I'm just gonna park the JCB here we might as well use the little fit why not no reason not to and uh, yeah let's get some some weeding done Wait a second, did I not have that down? Oh, that's what it was. I didn't have, whoops. I didn't have the weeder down. You'd think the AI would be smart enough to know how to do that themselves. Okay, well, the good thing is, is I don't have to do it. <laughs> that's what it was, okay. Funny, man. Well, um. In that case, I think we are going to have to just kind of chill. AI worker J has completed their task. Who was J? Okay, hold on a second. Who's J? That's F. I think this was J here. You can't possibly be done yet. That's the one that was all wonky going diagonal. Let's go. We got to go back and check on that worker. I don't, there's no way that worker's done yet. Man, seriously, guys, this is a full time job. <laughs> He's just managing the workers. <laughs> it's just, this is hard as doing to myself. Not really, but you know what I mean. Stupid AI. The AI is stupid, but on the other hand, it's kind of cool that they can do what they can do, too. What are you doing way over there, man? <laughs> He's really gone off the rails here. Oh, that's hilarious. All right. Well, let's get him lined up properly. 
and then maybe he'll he'll be okay. He, did you seriously cultivate somebody else's field, or is that one of our fields? Oh no. <laughs> No, this one's flashing, and it does need to be cultivated, so... Oh, man, so he crossed over from 39 to 36. Thank goodness. I mean, let's double check here. Yeah, 36 is one of our contracts, too. Oh, phew, I got a little worried there. Oh, you know what I think happened here, you guys? Wait. Did he... No, nope, don't pull out the chainsaw. I don't know. <laughs> this is all bass backwards. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it fixed. Let's fix it. Okay, bring you up. I want to get you back on the big field. I'll worry about the little one later. That is funny though, man. It's like he came over to this one and I don't know. I'm not sure what the AI was thinking there. Let's start them over on this uh, end. Hopefully that, you know, the diagonal swap that they've already cut doesn't mess them up. If it does, then we definitely know for next time we've got to start them off ourselves because it just, you know, things don't go too well if you leave them to their own devices. Now, let's just get it started here. Okay. Now I'm curious to see what he's going to do when he gets to the to the cut part up there. Let's let's run back to our JCB and ride, drive up there and see what he does. Okay, he stopped. That is not good. So now, I bet he thinks this is the only part that he's got to do. Well, all right, if that's the case, let's let him finish this part, and then we'll just get him started on that part. I mean, yeah, that's that's exactly what he's doing. How interesting. Well, the one thing I'll say about the AI is they certainly have straighter lines than I can do. <laughs> but that's about all they can do better than me. Otherwise, they dumb, man. Okay, so I think we got everybody working out. Um, if I had another cultivator, I'd jump in and help. I mean, I guess we could lease another one, but I don't know. Do I want to do that? Uh, how much is it going to cost to lease a decent sized cultivator? I mean, I normally wouldn't do this, but remember, we're going to bring in some bank here for sure. So this guy, ew, those are expensive. What if we stick around in this range? Seven and a half meters. What does that cost to lease? That's 3000 bucks. But what it means is that I can I can be working on cultivating too. You know what? We're gonna do it. I'd rather do that than just sit here and fast forward the time. It's gonna ultimately make us more efficient. So maybe we'll make a hundred thousand on all these. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna make some decent money. We might not break a hundred grand after all these expenses, but. We're still going to make a nice little chunk of money. Here. There's no doubt about it. Uh, all right, guys. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to go get that other cultivator and start. I'll probably go help um, dumbass over there <laughs> uh, finish that one because he, you know, because he's going to have problems when he when he gets to the other part. And then, you know, I'm just going to keep working all the cultivating contracts. We only have like two or three plowing. So the guy that's doing plowing now, I'll just keep or, you know, keep him going on that or her. And we'll get all the plowing, all the cultivating done. And then, you know, hopefully around that time, the rain will have stopped. And then we can get started on all of the baling stuff. 
I have absolutely no inkling right now how long this episode is gone. So, yeah, um, <laughs> it's probably got a long time. So I th here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep going. Um, I'm not going to show everything, of course, but I'm just going to keep going. And this might end up being a multi-part episode because, I, I, like I said, I just don't know where we're at at this point. So, yeah. Uh, that being said, I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little while.